What's really good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, and I'm super hyped today because we're gonna be eating Chicago's best burgers, and there's no better place to start than the West Loop neighborhood. So finesse that like button, and let's get some beef. We picked up a six inch cherry bass cake from Good Ambler. Y'all are familiar with the West Loop because we put together the greatest Chicago West Loop neighborhood guide of all time, de todo lo tiempo. So we're headed to a burger spot that is widely considered to be the number one spot to get burgers in all the city. I guess we're about to find out. The trick with this one is there's no reservation, so you just have to get here early and hope for the best. Just after 11 a.m. on a Wednesday, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, mind you, and it's still pretty busy. Luckily, it's just two of us in the party. Yeah, I would never try coming here with more than like four people, and that's for like even a weekday. Yeah, I got worried, honestly, because we show up and there's already like 20-something people outside. I'm like, dang, it's gonna be like two hours. But luckily for us, it's just a 15 to 30 minute wait. Man, still would rather go right in, but hey, it's a popular burger, so it is what it is. The single cheeseburger with the egg. Welcome to Au Cheval, which might be the most famous burger place in Chicago. According to a lot of people, this is the number one burger in the city. Today, we got their signature cheeseburger, which is actually two patties, even though it says single. We got the cheese on there, sauce, pickles, and then the egg. I'm of the belief that whatever comes on the burger, please just put on my burger, and it looks amazing. So we're gonna just assemble this, I guess. I'm not even sure how, do I just dump it up upside down or what? Yeah, try not to spill it, I guess. All right. <laughs> and maybe just cut it. This is hefty. All right. Here we go. Not bad. Look at that. Cheers. I think that Lewis mistakenly gave me the half of the burger that was larger than the other half because it's so gigantic. Let's go. It's definitely not like the greatest burger I've ever had. I mean, there's so much hype behind this burger. I don't think there's any way for it to ever live up to all that hype unless it comes with like a gold sheet on it or something like that. That is such an amazing burger. We got the Caesar salad on the side to kind of balance things out a little bit. Get our greens, get our beef. We got all the bases covered. Looks like you're almost done with your half of the burger. I know, I am so close to the end. I can't remember exactly what year I first came here. Maybe like 2015. And it blew my mind that you could put a giant piece of bacon and a whole egg on top of a burger. These onions are chopped so finely that I actually felt bad that they spilled out to the side. I'm like, no, oh, my onions. Au Cheval first opened up right here in Chicago's West Loop. Got so popular and successful that then they opened up in New York City in Tribeca. That's pretty rare. Really happy that we got that egg. So this was our first burger experience of the day. I would give that burger a nine out of 10. To not overwhelm our guts, we're gonna be splitting these burgers right down the middle if that already wasn't apparent. Uh, so we're not gonna be eating like three burgers a piece. It's just cut it in half, I get one half, and Rissa gets the other half. If she just so happens to not be able to finish, there's a kid crying because he wants his burger right this second. If it just so happens that Narissa can't finish her half of the burger, I will gladly hop off the bench, get in the game, and finish that burger. Somebody get that kid a hamburger before he like rips down the whole block. We're taking a short break from all of our burger indulgement to grab some coffee that just so happens to be a brand new coffee spot just open right here on Mag Mile. Let's get caffeinated. <laughs> yeah. I needed a little teeny bit of help pushing it. I forgot to read the menu. I was just too excited. I was gonna walk up there and be like, coffee, any kind. <laughs> I'll do the Ralph's cold. 
All right, this is our first time at Ralph's Coffee. They just opened up here in Chicago, right on Mag Mile, in the flagship Ralph Lauren store. Coffee plus Ralph Lauren clothing. Now you're talking about two of my absolute favorite things in the world, besides Narissa. We got a chai latte, that's for her. And I got Ralph's cold brew. Now, we've only been to the Ralph's Coffee in the Flatiron District of Manhattan, and we love that place. This one's a little bit different. They serve La Colombe coffee. All the tables are taken up right now. And it's actually pretty busy. So, so far so good, I guess, on the Ralph's Coffee Endeavor. Uh, it's definitely better than Starbucks, to tell you that much. It's currently a little tiny bit crowded, but I think it's just because everybody's excited. This is brand new, and it's right on Michigan Avenue. A sleeve that is, like, holiday-themed. Look at all of the bears! They're so cute! I could just carry this around all day. <laughs> Mag Mile during the holiday season is something special. That's a quote from Lewis to you. And we just finished up our drinks from Ralph's Coffee. Both were excellent. So we're getting ready to go to our second burger spot of the day. Now this one is a little bit more of an institution going back decades. This is like speakeasy vibes, but burger style because we had to walk around for a minute to find this little sign that's telling us where the restaurant is. And so we're heading to Lower Michigan Avenue. Double cheese. Any chips or drink? Nothing. Right. Cheeseburger, 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 cheeseburger. <laughs> Double cheese is the best. Yes, thank you. Our next stop on this burger tour of Chicago is at the famous Billy Goat Tavern on Lower Michigan Avenue. This is the original location, the one that inspired that super famous SNL skit. Cheeseburger, 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 two pets, cheap. So this is a classic, you know, it's a divey, old school Chicago type of joint. That's why I got the Walter Payton jersey. They got frames and newspaper articles all here. Super popular, classic spot. Mm. Definitely a solid cheeseburger. Burger, cheeseburger. If it's an old school, classic Chicago experience, it's something that I have to do for the channel, for y'all. To be honest, anytime you come to some place that's just so revered, so legendary and storied, there's a small fear that it's not gonna really live up to your expectations. But honestly, I gotta say, this is a solid, I would say seven and a half out of 10 cheeseburger. Billy Goat Tavern is totally old school Chicago. Just so fun. I'm excited to try this burger. Let's go. Billy Goat to see you out. All right, another Chicago bucket list experience off my list. We had to take a little bit of a break to let our burgers digest. And now we're here at our next burger spot here in Chicago. This is another highly acclaimed one. Tons of people talking about this on the internet. It's right here in Bucktown under the L tracks. And uh, what was the other thing, the other talking point that I had? Oh yeah, 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 right. So also we're no longer doing, like this is our, our new style of doing food tours, whether it's here in Chicago or in New York. We're not gonna be eating at like 10 spots in a day anymore. That's just, it's not cool. Like we feel bad the next day and it's not sustainable. So this is our new style. Let us know what other food tours you want us to do, whether it be pizza, hot dogs, Puerto Rican food. Cheeseburger and fries. All right, I am ready for this next burger. It's been about two hours to let the earlier burgers, the Oshival and the Billy Goat Tavern burgers digest a little bit. Now it's time for another. It's on Armitage and Western. Yes, my friends, we are at Red Hot Ranch, a little burger joint and hot dog joint under the L tracks. And we got their famous double cheeseburger with the works. It's nice and piping hot. Oh, uh, you can get fries on the side too. We haven't gotten fries all day until just now. I did work out earlier, my friends. I did back, arms. So, you know, I need protein. A brother needs his protein. Let's go. Mm. All those food tours that we did where we stopped at 10 restaurants in one day, 
They were fun, don't get me wrong. We just realized that's not sustainable. It doesn't really fit into our lifestyle. We're active people, we work out, we run, you know, we take Rowdy out for long walks. And like eating 10 meals in one day, that's just not what we do on a regular day. We really made that decision to steer the channel in this better direction. Now, of course, that said, we're still gonna be eating delicious food. I guess considering everything, I'd probably rate this an eight out of 10. They wrapped it kind of like how, how you see those old school candies. Yum. Actually, when I smelled it, it gave me the faint reminder of In-N-Out, which is one of my favorite burgers. That's what they modeled these burgers out, uh, after. Oh, really? What? what? Okay, well, they already won me over. I miss In-N-Out every time I think about it because we don't have one here. West Coast. If we're talking about the price point of all the burgers that we ate today, I think that they all match the price that we paid. If I ranked these burgers, I would say Au Cheval, my very favorite, Red Hot Ranch, number two, and then third, Billy Goat Tavern. Even though Billy Goat Tavern isn't my number one, it has such a cool vibe. It's just fun to be there. All right, Gusto Nation. So I accidentally ate Narissa's single cheeseburger. Basically, I ordered the single cheeseburger with fries, and then I kind of realized that's not enough food. So then I ordered a double cheeseburger, which is this one with no fry. How about I opened up the bag with the fries, knowing this, and still ate the single cheeseburger. <laughs> So now I gotta help out with the double cheeseburger. There you can see the two patties. I think this is an opportunity. I'm gonna see if this makes my burger experience any better. All right, let's go. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm so glad I got the double. This definitely bumps it up to an eight and a half. Solid 8.5 out of 10 for the double. I think because you get more of that beefy flavor. With the single, it was like the iceberg lettuce and the tomato, uh, tomato, pardon, were kind of like drowning out the beefy flavor. But now, with that double patty, definitely, <laughs> definitely much better. That's solid. That, my friend, is part of the adventure of being a Chicago YouTuber. Yeah, but this is much better. <laughs> Did you want more of this? A uh, doy. Okay, all right, let me not eat it all then. Cut. It's time to have a little bit of fun here at Emporium Logan Square. This is the barcade with foosball and shuffleboard, arcade cabinets, pinball, and of course some drinks. Larissa's got her grapefruit sour there. And we have some tokens left over from when we did what was it, the West Loop? I think we did the, the West Loop, we went to the Emporium. And so we have a few tokens left. There we go. So we're gonna hit the sticks, as they say. to move Mario left and right and up the ladder. Use the jump button to jump. And you have to jump over barrels. If you see a, a hammer, you can grab the hammer and you'll smash the barrels. Smash the barrel. It, it auto smashes it once you have the hammer. Okay. Um, until... Yeah, until the hammer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am obviously the best to ever play this game. Gus Donation, that was a great day. We ate some amazing burgers, had some fun at the arcade. We'll see you next time. Peace. All right, let's go.